yourself. Can you, mother? No matter what, what I do or say, you won't... You won't stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I was... I've made mistakes. I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. Mama, we can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. You were just an animal. Pass 
practicing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change! And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy! Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? The Warden must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would... ...bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. The only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. Such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Time for a favor? Well, plan. Go ahead and lock in your knife. We'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. 
Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? 
Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did. Huh, who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here, knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. 
Let's finish it. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep the secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. 
Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, that there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Who you're missing? if you want to go home, but maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder, it's become something else. The stuff of humans. For the coming of winter. Not just anywhere. But like the great winter that span three summers. And when it's done, back them off again. Ragnarok. From snow. Ah, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't... I'm telling you, it's Fimble when it's the Stop doing that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. No, sooner or later. That ain't just... Whoa. No, it's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. <laughs> The 
Tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yeah, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future. Control of his fate. He control every realm of every land in every world if he could. He potentially fucking resistance, he seems to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Aren't you tired? Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 